Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Let's try to erase uh, the past few episodes' uh, failures from our memories, shall we? Hopefully we're going to do a little bit better this time. This is, uh, I believe we're due for a universal item pool run, so that's what I've gone for. These are always fun. Uh, they do have a tendency to be a little bit easier, which also makes me feel a little bit better about myself. But they have a tendency to completely screw us as well with respect to HP upgrades. But usually we get enough damage to compensate for that. And it just adds a whole weird new level of strategy. Also, this is like, this level right now is like the ideal Tetris piece, except rotated 90 degrees on its side. Also, this is like a really long cellar part one. Uh, but let's just ignore that for now, and I will totally use a bomb to access what I hope is the small rock. Hey, pretty good upgrade right off the bat. So we could have rerolled that to literally anything, but, uh, you know, damage upgrade is something that I am not going to complain too much about. So yes, it, it's true, the uh, last few Isaac runs didn't necessarily go fantastically. Let's see what boss we're dealing with here. Since it's the Widow, I, I'm not really in the market for... Uh, using the High Priestess card, but I'm okay, like, we, we could save this High Priestess card till the end of the game, right? Uh, that's always an option. Uh, maybe we could use this against a Blue Baby or a, a, an Isaac if, if necessary. But I'd also just be okay with basically getting a free boss room on, uh, you know, or like a free boss room completed on one of these guys. Uh, oh, I forgot that this was on an XL floor. We'll definitely take the Mitre from our uh, first item room, that or first uh, boss room, that's fantastic. And we'll move onward, so never mind. I, for some reason, I thought we were on an XL floor. I guess that's because this floor has been so exceptionally long so far. This is another floor where High Priestess doesn't really work out for us, but anyway. What I was gonna say, and now we have some time to talk, because this fight against Super Envy is probably gonna take 100 years. I uh, haven't had the best track record in very recent memory. There's been some good runs, and there's been some runs where I didn't expect to win, but did. But also some runs where I probably should have succeeded, and just unfortunately... You know, it's always bad in Isaac when you lose, but it's worse when it's your play that causes you to lose, if that makes sense. Uh, sometimes it's the RNG. Let's put it this way, if you have a bad run from an RNG standpoint, losing is customary, if that makes sense. You can still win, and that would be amazing, that would be a real triumph. Uh, but losing is not necessarily something that's that shameful. Okay, uh, I am actually getting a little bit concerned about my survival on this level. Look at this shit, how am I supposed to avoid this? Uh, hopefully, we don't die right off the bat here. I have been hit like five times already. That's okay. We're very near to the end of this fight. Oh, I almost dodged directly into that guy. Maybe I should have just used the High Priestess card. There's other hearts remaining for us. Just gotta get them. Attack fly? Hey, we're gonna pick up the attack fly, even though that might seem stupid. Uh, that was very close to us dying there, and that would have been terrible. But anyway, as I was saying, um, on uh, a lot of runs, Winning is like a luxury. Sometimes winning is to be expected, and I think we've had runs where winning probably would have been expected if I'd played better, but I didn't, so I, you know, kind of dodged as badly as I did on that Super Envy fight. Uh, hopefully we end up having a better run, or getting better items to compensate for the fact that apparently I seem to have lost a little bit of Isaac Fu, but uh, so far so good, you know, Attack Fly, Damage Upgrade, and the Miter is pretty fucking solid for first floor items, and we still have our item room available. Of course it was like two centimeters to the left of where I started, but Whatever. We, we've succeeded in at least not dying on this floor, not to count my chickens before they hatch. Our item room contains Book of Revelations. We could have guaranteed ourselves a cube of meat, but I'm actually very pleased with the way this went down regardless. And hey, we got an all stats upgrade, so... Spirit Heart plus all stats upgrade is an incredible turn of events there. So effectively, two damage upgrades in HP, tiers, speed, and range upgrade. In addition, we also got the attack fly and a slight speed downgrade from the small rock. The attack fly didn't come from the small rock. You know what I mean, though. I'm just lumping all of our gets from this floor together. Uh, and then additionally, the Mitre, which is one of the best uh, items in the game for keeping your spirit hearts afloat. So, you know, there's really nothing to complain about on that floor, except for the fact that I came literally one hit away from death. But hey, apart from that, good news abounds. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. That was a, a poor decision, as you could probably guess. Traded a key for absolutely nothing. But maybe we'll get one back from this... Uh uh, tinted rock right here. We traded a bomb for a spirit heart, which is actually an okay trade. Hey, because we used our bomb, we actually got a bomb and a key out of it as well from that chest. We would have done that regardless, but uh, sure, that's fine. We'll go back to the mob trap room. We're not going to go to it just yet, and the reason we don't go to it just yet is because we've got to be mindful of our rerolls. So let's continue onwards here, and hopefully, uh, we'll, adjacent to the next room, we will find a uh, either an item room or our boss room. We'll see though. 
I will shoot all this poop probably when I come back as well. So there's another tinted rock. I don't think you can get more than one small rock per run, but we did end up picking up another key there. That's uh, something you can bank on. Peeper's Eye is uh, good, but because of our current reroll situation, it's, it's decent, I should say, but because of our current reroll situation, I think it would be stupid not to reroll it because we have many rerolls available. And Guppy's Tail, I think, is more or less a no-brainer pickup. So far, so good. Stars card, actually, I should have picked that up before I walked into the room because that uh, grants us a free tri trip to the item room. So what I will likely do, we should still wait on rerolls just in case. Uh, actually, you know what? We don't need to wait on rerolls because we're very unlikely to take a deal with the devil item anyway, and our rerolls are probably best served uh, just by being saved. Devil rooms in the universal item pool situation are pretty bad. So we want to take the uh, stars card down to the next floor, so I might as well use high priestess card right now. Uh, and that really fucked up Gemini's day. He's still gonna try to chase me down, but uh, that's gonna make this fight way, way easier. We get the Steam Sale, um, and also the Ankh and uh, the Notch Dax. So the only reason I came in here is to basically open up deal with the Angel Rooms for later. Steam Sale is an interesting choice. I kind of like it, actually. Um, the Stars card is something we'll use uh, to get to the item room on the next floor without wasting a key. Uh, I kind of like it. Partly, my pickup here is going to depend on what we get from the secret room, but we'll start by going into the mob trap room, because I'm definitely strong enough to, to go through with this and see what items we get from here. Sure, a bomb and a, a penny is actually a fairly good trade, I guess, for, for our time. And since we, we are stronger than the, the floors we're, or the enemies we're going to be going up against, uh, much stronger than the enemies we're going to be going up against, we're like two-shotting them, uh, it, it's always good to kind of like try to press your advantages a little bit further. So, we'll shoot this poop down here. We have three cents. The reason I like the Steam Sale here and, like, hate it other times is because we don't really have a lot of money yet, and we're still very, very early on in the game. We still have four shops remaining. Uh, it's not the secret room, unfortunately. We still have four shops remaining, so this could save us, like, you know, eight cents times three is probably a pretty good uh, position to kind of... Why did, why did I generate a fly there? That was weird. Uh, why do I say eight cents times three? Uh, because... There we go, that was the perfect setup there. Um, oh, Mom's bra, really? Well, this is a weird one. We're probably gonna go with the steam sale and reroll the bra. And we got the luck foot, which means all pills are gonna be good, so that's fine, and we'll sacrifice a spirit heart to go through here. Um, you know why we got that spirit heart earlier? It was because of the miter, but anyway. Um, as I was saying, I actually kind of forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh, because it, normally it will take an item from 15 cents down to uh, 7 cents. And maybe, you know, three floors of shops remaining that aren't greed is probably pretty reasonable. When you put it out like that, it doesn't make the Steam Sale seem very good, but who knows, maybe it'll work out well for us. So this floor is very nearly done. I am going to use a key to open the golden chest. Maybe we'll be able to snag an HP upgrade or something as a result. I don't think there's any need to go to the shop yet. Uh, okay, we got a Joker card. This is unfortunate, but also pretty good. Uh, it's good to have the Joker card because that'll guarantee us either a deal with the Devil or Angel. Probably Angel. Um, but it's bad to lose the Stars card because that's basically another key down the toilet. But, you know, the, taking the Joker card with us is the smarter decision. So, uh, I think we'll go with that. And we'll take our Steam Sale and hopefully we'll get a little bit of money that we can use. But for now, uh, why don't we pop the Joker card immediately. And we did get a deal with the Angel Room. I should have waited until I had a reroll available. That was kind of stupid of me, but I'll take Mr. Mega anyway. Basically, that was a free Mr. Mega item. Uh, Although I could have gotten the Angel Room regardless, but you never know. We'll probably reroll the uh, eight ball. I've kind of that was a poor decision with Mr. Mega, but I do like Mr. Mega a lot, and it gave me five extra bombs. But that's not as we, we probably still would have preferred to reroll something else. Although keep in mind, you know, with Universal Item Pools, the Angel Room, you know, Mr. Mega is if Mr. Mega is good in an Item Room, it's good in an Angel Room with Universal Item Pools. Uh, sure, Horror Babylon is one of those items where. Probably, like, fully 50% of the time, I don't actually get any use out of it at all. But it's good enough in that other 50% that I'm okay with picking it up. And, of course, we're on the lookout for Guppy's Paw. So, uh, if I end up getting Guppy's Paw, then that makes, uh... Or, I should say, picking up Horror Babylon makes Guppy's Paw even more attractive than it normally is. So, I think this is an okay pickup. And, uh, we'll be able to two-shot all these enemies. Our damage is still, like, off the fucking chain right now. Another penny is good, because we have Steam Sale that now guarantees us the possibility of buying an item from the shop. Guarantees us the possibility is a sentence that borderline doesn't make sense, but that's okay. Oh, our damage is good enough. Okay, five shot in greed heads is pretty okay. I'm still wondering why I'm generating flies. Oh, that's when I'm not generating flies, dummy. Just sometimes with my erratic movement, I forget that I have an attack fly. Oh, that's very nice. 
Obviously, you know, 14 cents is like the next threshold for us, so we can make sure that we're getting a, you know, a, a, sh a shop opportunity from the next one, a shop opportunity, if you will. Since we have Curse of uh, Blindness, I can't tell whether this is a library or a shop, but either way, I'm okay to be opening it. We got two keys for opening that chest, so that was well worth our time. And a speed upgrade is not worth it, but we'll reroll it, and we reroll it to Lifesteal, which is also pretty bad, I think. Uh, Lifesteal's a weird one, because sometimes it can end up actually being a pretty huge boon, but... You know, in situations, you there's some situations where you want to keep like a half heart interval, and lifesteal makes that impossible, unfortunately. But if I don't have any other options, it might not be the worst idea to pick it up, but it might not be the best idea to pick it up right now, especially when we have probably another few rerolls remaining on this floor. Try not to get hit again by the spider. This guy's gotten trapped in the middle, and okay. Well, this is a very good place. If we find the secret room here, I'd be especially pleased, but we got two spirit hearts and access to this chest, which gave us another key. And uh, we'll take the Halo of Flies, a number of reasons for this. First reason is that it's pretty good, in my opinion at least. Uh, second reason is that we're going to get a little tight for time on rerolls here. Uh, but I'm pleased with this nonetheless. And we keep generating a lot of Spirit Hearts, which is fantastic. And now it's going to be an interesting moment. So another Spirit Heart is great, but we're going to get one last reroll from Peep here. And then after the uh, Peep fight is complete, then we'll have to choose what to reroll. So I'm hoping that we get some kind of like attribute upgrade or at the very least a passive from Peep. Uh, and then uh, I can just feel good about going up and rerolling Lifesteal. Lifesteal is a passive, but it's a passive that can, you know, bung me up a little bit. That was a very bad chain of events there. Probably should have been hit twice, but wasn't. So I guess that's a, a little bit of a silver lining on that dark cloud. Could have been hit pretty easily again right there. The eyes are so fucking frustrating to dodge sometimes. Okay, attack fly. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so the eight ball showed up again, and we've already been to the angel room, so it might have been a waste of the joker card. I would rather take the eight ball, get the tarot card, which is the joker card. Okay, so that's, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, and then we'll go and we'll reroll lifesteal. So basically we get, we guaranteed ourselves one free item via the joker card. So we got a tears upgrade or a shot speed upgrade from the eight ball plus the uh, extra item from the joker. So it's basically like buy one, get one free, right? And then in here, uh, we'll reroll that into Harlequin baby, which is fine, I think. And I'm very tempted to, you know what? We'll get another key because we have, uh, we have Guppy's Tail, so even if that precludes us from buying an item, it should open another golden chest for us, which gives us some more chance to get another item or get more keys and then get more items later. So I think this floor went pretty well as well. Uh, Spirit Hearts are obviously going very well. Harle Harlequin Baby is an okay upgrade. Uh, we also picked up Mr. Mega, which may be useful, may not be useful. Joker card here. I'm such an idiot. Like. Just get your fucking reroll in order before you come through here and do this. Like, that's the second time in a row. There's no excuse for that, and uh, I throw myself on the mercy of the commenters and, and viewers for that one. Poor mistake. Uh, and you know, you you know something is a bad mistake when even with my fairly rudimentary, at least on paper, Isaac knowledge, uh, I know that it's uh, well, I would wouldn't say unforgivable, but it, it's a poor decision nonetheless. Uh, logically speaking. That being said, I've never been the most logical Isaac player, and uh, the run's going well regardless, so I don't think there's any need to cancel Christmas just yet. We should be okay to get through this room without taking too much more damage, and you know, at some point we're gonna pass that threshold where I'm probably losing more health than I'm gaining on a regular basis, but I hope it's not on this floor. What I hope for this floor is that we come across an arcade or a blood bank of another sort somewhere because obviously uh, the boss trap room is basically just like a free reroll pedestal waiting to happen. So I am hoping that we, well, the number of keys we've got is fantastic. We're not gonna need to reroll uh, the cube of meat from Pestilence. This is actually, you know, getting a cube of meat here is kind of okay because obviously I uh, need that uh, extra orbital to kind of round out my whole uh, set here. So that would be great. And also I wanna get a trip back to that angel room so I can reroll the uh, Bible. And we'll only have one shot to do that because I'm a dummy, but hopefully I can at least uh, redeem myself ever so slightly there. No angel room, I'm dumb, and I feel a little bad about it. But hey, Cuba Meat, that's uh, pretty nice for us as well. Would love to fight war on the next floor and make it happen. But uh, for now, lots of rerolls available. Item shop, uh, well, probably not the shop, but we do have enough bombs to look for the secret room, so maybe the shop would be... Uh, viable, but for now, ooh, this is ideal. Okay, so this is like as good or better uh, as finding a blood bank, provided that we can actually. Nah, that kind of sucks. I was gonna say, provided that we can actually play it enough to get into that boss trap room, but we can't. But we got a reroll pedestal, uh, and it's looking like at the very least, and it may be the very least, 
uh, we'll be able to uh, fuck up some uh, items out of our pool, so we'll never see the bean again, we'll never see Tammy's head again. I will totally open this golden chest, even though it's a pretty expensive one. Fuck. Okay, two bombs and a key is, like, really expensive for this now. But, uh, maybe... Hey! HP upgrade, plus maybe a tears up or a shot speed upgrade, that's fine. Use another key to come in here, and there's an HP upgrade for sale, so now I basically have to find the secret room, because... Uh, of, an HP upgrade is extremely valuable in this situation, and we don't need to use a reroll, which is nice. That is not our secret room. So, we got a lot left over. Uh, hopefully I won't need to reroll the item room, it'll just be something amazing right off the bat. And if we can snag two HP upgrades on this floor, that is really good for business. Hopefully there's a curse room as well, because there's very few other ways that I'm probably going to end up getting... Well, actually, you know what? I guess I can get guppy items from actually anywhere, so maybe we don't need curse rooms, but... It would be nice to have the, the pedestals from the curse rooms regardless. Who knows, they could give me like Polyphemus or something. Really thought that would kill the uh, weird little bodiless man. No, um, okay, well, we're still on the lookout for the secret room, because seven cents for an HP upgrade is huge, especially if we end up getting, uh, you know, I was gonna say a deal with the devil, but that's pretty unlikely, but, you know, maybe we get Guppy's Paw, that's three extra spirit hearts, and we get the benefits of having the HP upgrade. Why am I... I was psyched to come up here because, like, I had a reroll available. We don't need to come back here. We need to reroll the bean. That's what we need to reroll. Uh, White Pony. Pretty bad item. Remember when you used to be able to fly through the mob and boss trap rooms? If you just had the ability to fly, you could go through the bars and just pick up the item and leave. Ah, of course they patched that, but they, they don't patch some of the broken stuff. Those were the days. It's basically like, I can fly. That's, like, three more free items over the course of this run. The rich get richer, man. Probably a lot of people got into the game after that was actually patched out. Those seriously were the days. Alright, so now we're in a very unfortunate position because Telepathy for Dummies is also one of the worst items in the game. And it's looking pretty unlikely that we'll be able to get uh, more than enough rerolls to get uh, one for Telepathy for Dummies and one for uh, the White Pony. I've teleported myself to the shop, much to my chagrin because now I have to walk all the way back. Um, well, you know, if we end up not being able to reroll them, that's fine. They're basically equivalent to me right now. They're both worth zero because the D6 is so valuable. Really would love to come across an arcade. We could play the Blood Bank, we can get money, we could get the HP upgrade, we could be able to go to the boss trap room, but even if we can't, I still think this floor has gone pretty well for us. The very last thing on our docket is to look for the secret room. And there may be greed inside, and that might not be the worst thing in the world, honestly. So, nickel, nickel, nickel. Oh, there was a dime in there! And two spirit hearts. So there's our HP upgrade uh, sorted for us, which is really good because I do not see... Well, first off, no more rerolls. That's shitty. Uh, but uh, it's really good for us because I don't see where the secret room could possibly be. I'm going to check for the secret room next to the boss trap room, just in case that would allow us entry there. Uh, but uh, apart from that, we're leaving this item, unfortunately, and we're leaving uh, the item room item, Telepathy for Dummies. But an extra HP upgrade is pretty huge, and we still have enough money to go to the next floor, so I'm really glad that I opened up that golden chest. Uh, well, of course, we, we have enough money to go to the next floor. You can go to the next floor with zero money if you wanted to, but now we can go to the shop uh, on the next floor as well. So, uh, Wheel of Fortune card is one that I'm just saving. You know, we're getting to the point where I could afford to save an item for the chest. Oh my god, I'm the luckiest man in the world. So, uh, yeah, we'll absolutely open up this room. I'm gonna play this one time, because we have seven cents, and that's all we need. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm very sorry about this for those of you watching who are gonna be irritated, but... That was a coup to get Brimstone, and anytime I put in work to get Brimstone beyond just walking into the deal with the Devil Room, I'm gonna take it. This is still far from a one run, but certainly this is a very good position to be in a situation where you paid zero for Brimstone. It's a very nice place to be. So we're gonna walk it back here. He didn't get killed, because I didn't get this Brimstone fully charged, weirdly enough. And now we start tearing enemies up very, very easily. I'm surprised I didn't kill the other one, to be honest. Now, we still have a, a damage concern, but apart from that... Hey, we actually got a reroll available as a result of this as well, so we'll go up and reroll... Uh, watch me get, like, Mom's Knife or something like that. We'll go up and reroll the pony up here, which I've already picked up. And we ended up getting the battery! That's actually huge! And, you know, if that would have been the 9 volt, that would have given us another reroll that we could use on Telepathy for Dummies, but... That was really, really good. An unexpected turn of events leads to us picking up Brimstone and the battery on a floor that was already pretty good for us. 
So we go down to the next floor. Uh, we have Wheel of Fortune, which we're saving for the, the chest because it grants us a guaranteed free item if we blow it up. And if we have to get rid of it before the chest, that's fine. We've just got to weigh, you know, the, the positives and the negatives, right? Necropolis, scary place to be. This golden chest is just, like, inaccessible uh, as a result of those blue spikes. There's probably a way to swing it, but it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Uh, two more spirit hearts is fantastic. I don't mind skipping one golden chest because uh, we've had very good luck with the other one so far. In fact, we will pop this one open even. All right, so this is pretty terrible. Samson's Lock, okay at the best of times, but uh, this is basically the worst of times. Uh, wow, okay. I can't believe that it's taken me so long to kill the fetuses here, but that's okay. Hopefully my neighbors didn't hear me say that. I don't, I don't know if they're necessarily pro-life, but you don't necessarily want to hear that coming from your walls regardless. You know what I want to hear coming from my neighbor's walls? Like, thank you, Mom, that was a delicious dinner. That's what, that's all I want to hear ever from my neighbors. Hey, Celtic Cross. Hey, reroll pedestal is basically the way that I'm treating this. We could really use some more keys because I'm kind of burning through them here. Uh, but anytime you get a reroll pedestal, you know, in this game, one reroll pedestal is as good as another. Why did I reroll Celtic Cross? Uh, either because I'm an idiot or because I think that we can get a better payout from that, uh, I mean, that, that's obvious. Why does anyone do anything? Because they had a, a good reason, but, um, I, I think we can get a better payout than, uh, Celtic Cross from this. Given the fact that we have the battery, we'll probably get some more rerolls, and hopefully you catch what I'm saying on that one. Mind you, this run's going very well so far, uh, and we've solved the problem that you normally have on these universal item pool runs, which is, that was a great brimstone shot right there. Uh, we solved the problem on the average universal item pool run, which is not having uh, enough uh, HP, but we have more than enough HP, and if we end up getting like a Guppy's Paw or something like that, that would obviously be even better, but for now, it's not a concern either way. So this is definitely going to leave us charged up here. Uh, yeah, there, there was a funky thing that I could have done there to get more reroll charges. Like, I could have gotten the green fly to explode near the wall and then just left, and then I could have milked that room a little bit more, but it's no big deal. Hopefully, it'll just pay out, like, right away with a half-decent item. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. HP upgrade. Is HP upgrade better than Celtic Cross? There's probably a mathematical argument to be made there on one side or the other, uh, but I am probably not uh, mathematically sound enough to A posit that argument and B, now's not the time because I'm, you know, busy playing a video game and trying to provide some commentary over top. Uh, I forgot this wasn't our final floor either. This has been a fairly slow run for the amount of damage that I'm doing. I don't know, I guess I just thought this was an XL floor for whatever reason. That's uh, something that's happened multiple times on this run. Now, I'm taking some damage I shouldn't be taking to be honest with you, but that's okay. So we'll get enough money to go to the shop again on the next floor. I could really use some keys, you know. In fact, what would be amazing is if I managed to get a uh, flat penny. That, pff, the orbitals kept me from taking damage there remarkably. Cool, more money and uh, the extra spirit hearts. Spirit hearts rack them up, man. Uh, I am A-OK -okay with taking as many spirit hearts as the game wants to give me right now. So libraries are actually uh, better than item rooms because they're just 2x item rooms in universal item room pool. I think it's okay to take x-ray vision. Now it's worth the same as an item room, but we've already opened it, so it's worth more. IV bag we will pick up so it doesn't show up again, and then we'll get ready to reroll the shit out of that in the future. But uh, being able to go to secret rooms for free is awesome. Bombs are key. Friends till the end. Well, you know, we're coming up to a boss fight, so that might be useful. And it is Mask of Infamy, so I just want to throw this out there for all of you who probably were like, don't pick up Brimstone, you shithead. Uh, you know, you're probably still thinking the same thing, but I'm super glad that I picked it up because uh, Mask of Infamy is a total, uh, I was going to say cum lord, but that's just a really gross expression that popped into my head. Um, in any case, let's try to wash ourselves of, of that awful mental image. And this makes uh, Mask of Infamy like the easiest boss fight. So quad shot, I don't even know how that works for us here. <laughs> okay, you know, yes, it is very tempting to take fetus in a jar for one heart. The speed upgrade, less so. Uh, I don't know how quad shot works with brimstone i think it just makes it take like substantially longer to charge so i'm just gonna move on but if this is a terrible mistake like if i should be taking quad shot then uh i i sincerely apologize but you know me that, that there goes northern lion doesn't know the interactions and synergies of every single item combination in the binding of isaac wow you would expect him to know that by now based on the fact that he never reads the wiki uh, we're up to 25 cents, six bombs, no keys though, and that, that lack of keys is gonna come back to bite me in the ass, but I can't feel too bad about, uh, the way the golden chests have worked out for us so far, that's where I've spent most of my keys, most of the golden chests have actually worked out pretty okay. 
So with one remaining reroll, I guess we reroll IV bag and leave quad shot. Um, I'm just gonna readjust my posture here for a second. I don't know that this is great, but uh, I don't think it matters which one we reroll to be honest due to the, the pools, but sure, let's set this up. Sure, homing bomb's good. We have 11 homing mega bombs now, that's okay. Quad shot, I don't know. No big deal either way, I guess. Down to the next four. Could have re-rolled the deals with the devil item, but I wasn't expecting those to even show up. So, three more cents. And uh, we'll, we'll obviously check out this arcade because an IV bag would be a big pickup. We actually are a little bit slower than I'd like, so uh, we'll also probably use the... It's a uh, necropolis, too. Uh, we'll probably use the uh, remaining money that we have at the end here to play that fortune teller. In fact, I should be playing the fortune teller like simultaneously because there's a chance that it will pay out with uh, like a flat penny trinket. So I don't want to even pick up this money. Never mind, uh, it's dead. But, uh, you know, at least we got a spirit heart out of it before it died. We have more than enough spirit hearts to, to continue being like relatively confident about this, by the way. So hopefully we get a... Uh, I was not, why was I going to say an IV bag? Hopefully we get an IV bag? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, what I was going to say is... Oh, I really thought I was going to survive there. Hopefully we get a, a boss trap room, because if we get a boss trap room, that's another free item for me. Now that we have Whore of Babylon active, that's cool too. I, oh, I really thought I was going to make it. Okay, be a little bit smarter with your dodging, please, me. We're not really looking for a reroll right now, but we're going to get one regardless. There it is. We're doing a lot of damage with War of Babylon. Makes me really long for Guppy's Paw. And that's uh, Eve's Birdfoot, which is not very good for us at all. And we're going to be getting rid of uh, Samson's Lock soon anyway. So there is a definite argument to be made for keeping myself at... Uh, you know, zero health, basically. I get the extra damage from Whore of Babylon, and I get the extra uh, invincibility from the Polaroid. I may go back for that heart, but I'm not totally sure about that yet. Um, can't really do anything about that. I'm a little scared about the accidental uh, implications of this. How did that not blow up, that tinted rock? It's the only rock still available. I uh, can't really do anything about that either. More keys, please. Well, at least... Yeah, okay. At least we uh, did find a boss trap room. And uh, we found some pills as well. We have PhD, so pills should be good. Now, uh, what you do here, you pick up the game, kid, and then you use it. And we're gonna get some extra health back as a result of this, so... Fuck you, Chub. Okay, we actually got one full heart back there. And then we're gonna put this down, and then we're gonna re-roll it right away so we can start building a charge again. How do I feel about the ladder? I feel like in this situation where we have zero keys, the ladder makes a very convenient reroll pedestal that we could turn into something else. Also, we know those pills have to be good. I'm, I'm hoping HP upgrades are full health, but uh, you know, other stat upgrades could be A-OK -okay as well. It's all about, uh, oh, thank you orbitals for that, but it's all about uh, pressing our advantages right now. So push pin, not very good. Let's start taking these pills, see what we got. Pill number one. Bombs are key. Okay, now we start opening golden chest. The other one is telepills. Uh, now we start opening everything, really. So golden chest is squeezy. Uh, I, the spirit hearts are pretty valuable for me right now, so I don't feel bad about picking that up. This golden chest is just money. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely check out our item room, which contains Doctor's Remote, which certainly we're going to get rid of. Uh, but for now, what else do we have in the, uh, Mom Trap room? I can't remember. So we're gonna get some health back. Um, I don't really want to use Telepills because it could fuck us out of the Polaroid. Wheel of Fortune is more valuable, but we have to hold on to it a lot longer to make it work. So we've exhausted one part of the floor here. Yeah, eight keys. Pop them open. Now we do have a reroll available, so let's reroll, uh, the... Uh, b b mob trap room, boss trap room first. And in here we get, uh, I mean the ladder's not bad, but we'll re-roll it. One-up's not good enough either, in my opinion, considering we, we'll probably have some more opportunities to play them here. Uh, obviously we're not gonna use a bomb to get that half heart anymore, because bombs are pretty precious, but I'm glad that we got all these keys, because, you know, we picked up a squeezy right away. That maybe makes brimstone charge a little bit faster, not 100% sure. Uh, but let's come back here, and we've got a few more plays of this thing, and since we've already used the IV bag, or we've already gotten the IV bag, uh, once, this means it's guaranteed to pay out with the blood bag, if we just give it enough time, and there we go. Beautiful. So there's a little speed upgrade associated with that as well. So this is it, you start building here. Uh, well, probably should have taken the ladder to avoid wasting a bunch of keys. That golden chest doesn't quite strike me as worth it. Could be wrong, but, uh, I, you know, 
keys and bombs more valuable than the expected payout there right now, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, another half heart is nice to get us back to full health, I suppose. Lots of, okay, well, getting back to full health, not as much of a challenge as I thought it would be. Our damage is pretty weak as a result of not having Horror of Babylon anymore, but again, uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find a uh, boss trap room or something. Boss trap room? Guppy's paw, curse room, curse room. Or deal with the devil room, but not on this floor. So I'm very psyched that Judgment has shown up here. Any keys and bombs he can give me, or spirit hearts, or pills, uh, totally awesome. And the HP upgrade there is amazing as well. And we still have a shop awaiting us as well. And there it is right there. You know, we could get Guppy's Paw in the shop, I guess, given universal item pools. We don't, though. We have Poison Touch. And I... Th oh, I don't have any bombs. Oh, we'll buy a bomb. Okay, so we'll pop this open. Uh, I think it's okay to buy Poison Touch and use our rerolls for other things in this situation. Especially if we get permanent Polaroid Invincibility. That'll be real nice for us. So, more money and another bomb. That bomb is actually pretty good. And we're only going to have one reroll available, so uh, I guess we'll go back and do it back here. Sucks that it's so far away, and it might be a total waste for us, but that, you know, no big deal, I guess. Uh, and we have eight keys. Why don't I open this golden chest? Because it's going to cost me a bomb to do so. That was right. Okay. And what do I reroll? Do I reroll what's in the item room, which I've forgotten, or do I reroll what's in the shop? I don't know. I don't think it matters too much at this point. This has been a pretty good run. Not the shop, the mob trap room. Yeah, we might as well reroll this. Sure, I'll take another speed upgrade. That's fine. And was that a passive in here or an active in here? Because if it's a passive, it's a one-up, right? If it's a one-up, I'll take it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we might as well have it as opposed to not having it. And similarly, I want to make sure that we're taking Wheel of Fortune out here because we are starting to close in on uh, the end of the game. And basically, this is just a portable item room as long as I have a bomb to blow it up, which is actually looking a little bit suspect right now. But uh, I'm, I'm pleased with this nonetheless. So we've done very well, I would say, by traditional standards up to this point. We've got uh, 9 HP, a ton of spirit hearts way off the screen, uh, brimstone and, and good damage, full suite of orbitals. This is, a, traditionally speaking, this is a very good uh, run. And, you know, non-traditionally speaking, that's not me saying it's a bad run, non-traditionally speaking. Non-traditionally speaking, I think it's still a pretty fucking excellent uh, run that we've got going on here. It's kind of difficult to hit Ma, uh, Red Mom with brimstone, so that's going to slow us down a lot. Uh, but if she actually gets, like, in sync a little bit here, I could potentially hit her with my uh, attack fly. It's not working out that way so far because I'm dodging in exactly the opposite direction, but sure, the fight's going fine regardless. No big deal, right? We can afford to uh, take our time here as long as I don't take any damage. Brimstone strength not dealing with single target foes usually. Usually dealing with uh, huge rooms full of lots of enemies. So... Good, it's over. That was easy. And lifesteal, and you know what? I'm actually going to skip lifesteal, and the reason I'm skipping it was, as mentioned, it precludes me from hanging out at half-heart intervals. So, it's not great, it's not bad. It's like take it or leave it at this point. It could save our lives in a more difficult run, but this run is looking pretty comfortable so far, so let's try to make it even more comfortable. So we found both secret rooms. We got a nice kind of cacophony of the Danny B micro comp compositions there. Uh, rusty Key is obviously... Not very good for us for a thousand reasons, but we have a reroll pedestal, which is fantastic. Range upgrade is useless. Let's start exploring this floor. This is what I always like, because normally when you come down to the womb part one or utero part one, you're like, oh, no more items for like the rest of the game. That's really shitty. But when you find a reroll pedestal like that right off the bat, Bob's your uncle. That's really good news. We can actually have some fun on this floor, and we actually got one bomb extra value for opening that golden chest, which feels really good. And in here, we, well, we traded a key for a bomb, which, you know, in our situation is actually pretty good right now. That was a very good uh, play, and now Chubb? Chubb's like your ideal boss fight when you have Brimstone? Well, Larry Jr. is your ideal boss fight, or Skolex, or Pin when you have Brimstone, but uh, Chubb's up there, because you can hit all the bodily segments at once, and then I think we fight two monstros, yep. Two Monstros is not your ideal boss fight when you're uh, rolling Brimstone, but we should be fine regardless. And we will uh, guaranteed get a reroll available after this. If you guys could just get like onto the same plane here so I can do some damage. Well, Poison Touch is going to tear that dude's up. Tear that dude's up? I think I was going to say tear that dude's bitch ass up. I don't know what's going on with my, my cursing part of my brain today. That was awful damage to take, but we're still uh, rolling pretty safe here. So what do we got? Range upgrade gets rerolled into teleport. It's gonna take a long time for us to exhaust this item pool of uh, shitty items, but uh, hopefully we'll get there at some point. And, ah, uh, well, no, we won't because we found our boss room. But we'll still probably do some exploration 
uh, just to get as many rerolls as possible. And yeah, we still have enough keys that we can afford to do that. Oh, that is glorious. Picked up many uh, extra bombs and keys, many surplus bombs and keys. Triagnid, a, a rare boss fight, I would say. One of the rarer boss fights in the in the game. Does he pop down now? Yes, okay. So, it's, it's an easy boss fight, you know, it's just like fighting Daddy Long Legs, except uh, slightly different. I think he might just be like an exact palette swap. Uh, HP wise, no big deal. And especially if I can get Attack Fly to hit. Like, Attack Fly is still the, the big damage dealer if I can actually make it work. Probably take off like 10% of his health in one cycle. Eh, pretty good. Killed him. Okay, so, uh, we did get a deal with the devil, which is awesome. Rosary is an interesting value proposition. Um, I think because there's a three spirit heart deal here, I'm gonna reroll it. I'm also actually gonna take Robo Baby, or Rainbow Baby, sorry, and then we'll reroll this. And it's probably not worth three spirit hearts, even for a good pill. Um, and I'm gonna take the Rosary, and you know what, fuck uh, backtracking. I'm taking the Rosary just for the extra spirit hearts, basically. <clears throat> I guess I would have paid for the deal with the devil item regardless. Oh, another range up there. Well, this is good because we have another reroll pedestal uh, that can give us something to live for on this floor. And I know that some people are probably mad that I didn't explore the entirety of that last floor, but it's the kind of thing that's very unlikely to make a huge difference moving forward. So, kind of thought, why stop wasting everybody's or why waste everybody's time? Let's just uh, move onwards instead. So this blood bank is an interesting value proposition as well, as you know. Um, We'll come in here and waste everybody's time instead uh, just by playing the blood bank as much as possible. What is up with these uh, fortune tellers just blowing up after like two plays? <clears throat> Obviously, we're looking for IV bag. Yeah, that's or sorry, blood bag, not IV bag. And that's uh, sorted itself out pretty quickly, so let's move onwards. The extra HP, actually, still pretty welcome. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't feel satisfied with the amount of HP that we already have. An extra key is very good, but let's reroll the range upgrade first. Hey, Guardian Angel! <clears throat> Makes our orbitals maybe a little bit more effective. Uh, offensively or defensively. Now we can just go straight for the boss room and feel good about it for once. Now, I would still love a Guppy's Paw. I don't even want to, I mean, I do want to become Guppy, obviously, but uh, it's not the be-all, end-all. <clears throat> Apologies for my voice there. It's not the be-all, end-all, uh, but just being able to have permanent Polaroid invincibility and the Horror of Babylon actually having some awesome effect would be very, very nice for me. But in here, two red chests, chest one, Guppy's head, chest two, spirit heart, so there's Guppy's head for us. Uh, we'll use it and then re-roll it to Guppy's tail. Or, nah, it's not, well obviously it's not Guppy's tail. Um, we already have Guppy's tail. So I was thinking what I would do is use like two spirit hearts uh, per re-roll. Instead, I guess I probably should have gone for the range upgrade, but whatever, we're just gonna fight the boss and move onwards. I think what the way the curse rooms work <clears throat> is that, um, no bomb was necessary there, but we got one back anyway, so no big deal. Uh, I think the way curse rooms work is that they give you like a curse room item pool, but then you can reroll it to anything universally uh, in the game. So we may have one more reroll available after this, so it'll be tempting uh, to just go back to that uh, curse room. But I don't want to lose the spirit hearts. I don't want to get overconfident about our chances, basically. Even though the game looks like it's going extremely well for us right now, that it only gets harder from this point on. So. Uh, basically like the easiest mom's hard fight we've had in a long time, but let's move onwards regardless. I expect Blue Baby's gonna be kind of a pain in the dick. Isaac and Blue Baby, I should say. Isaac first, of course. Uh, but I've been wrong before. It's just because Brimstone's not doing very much damage that I think that's a likely kind of scenario. Uh, so I'm just gonna get in here and... Okay, that sucks. I was really hoping we'd get to... Guppy's paw in there. I actually thought about it for a second too. I was like, we we're gonna get it. This is it right now. This is where the run turns. Well, it doesn't turn around because we're doing a, we're doing a great job regardless. But this is where the run like really kicks off. Didn't work out like that. Okay, that was a scary situation. But you know, if I leave this room and uh, I am uh, only taking one damage, that's not so bad. Kind of okay with that. That's bad damage. I just get like confused on this room. I get overwhelmed. But it's done now. And we got another bomb. The bombs are actually really useful for the damage that they'll do to the bosses. Um, keys, probably at this point overkill, but, uh, you know, it's always nice to have a surplus of keys. Would have been nicer to have a little earlier in the game, but beggars can't be choosers. It's not true, by the way. I, I think beggars can be choosers if what they're begging for is not what they're getting. Like, hey, give me some money, and then somebody shows up and like, you know, here's my Subway Club card, you only need two more sandwiches and then you get a free one. I'd be like, yeah, I'm pissed. 
So, I don't think, I think having a reroll pedestal here is really nice. I don't think mini mush is what we want. <clears throat> the crate is, you know, like an extra spirit heart. It's not bad. I think the crate is actually an underrated item. Uh, from my standpoint, at least. Maybe not from an objective standpoint. Uh, but I don't think it's what we need here either. So, ooh, a tinted rock is very much what I would like, if not need. And a golden chest is, is fine as well, though the payout here was kind of disproportionately low. Yeah, we'll open this up as well. HP upgrade, absolutely fine by me. Any time I can snag an HP upgrade in a universal items pool run is uh, glorious in my opinion. So this will maybe give us enough reroll charge to uh, go back and reroll uh, whatever we had. It was the crate, yeah, because I was just talking about it. To reroll the crate. Again, I think the crate is. Oh, we will have enough reroll charge. I think the crate is a good item in some situations, but in our situation right here, it's not necessary. What would be the best thing about it? Probably the pill is the best thing about it. After that, an extra bomb and an extra spirit heart, which may or may not come in handy. So, you know, I would rather just have a, you know, a chance at some extra life, maybe, or a chance at some extra damage, or anything along those lines. Oh, I really thought the attack fly was gonna finish the job. Close enough. That's pretty good. And we still have Wheel of Fortune. What do we have in here next? Uh, prayer card I will use for basically a free HP. This is kind of the best of both worlds. We get an HP out of it, and uh, I'll be able to pick up another item as well. So, uh, assuming I don't lose like all of my spirit hearts, I should be okay to go with this prayer card. All right, that was an ideal explosion there. Ideal explosion, is that a band yet? It's a good band name, I think. Maybe like an indie, like pseudo ska band or something like that. One more, yeah, not even one more bomb fly. Sure, yeah, keep giving me golden chest game. I will open the fuck out of those. And up here, we're gonna have some greed fights and looking pretty confident that I'll probably get a uh, reroll available. I just heard the battery go off, so yeah, we will get another reroll at the end of this room. No nuns have it, that's hard to get used to because we've gotten it so often lately that I'm always like, whenever I get hit, I'm like, yeah, there's a reroll. Not today though. Wow, we are definitely gonna be at 99 cents. Cool beans, uh, long floor, but that's a good thing for us. Bent spoon, not gonna do too much for us, or spoon bender, I should say. Not gonna do too much for us on uh, this run, because we have brimstone, obviously. Just trying to blow those bomb flies up effectively. That's a pretty good one, I think. All right, anytime I can get, if I can get them both with the same brimstone shot and blow up a bomb fly at the same time, that's like a, a glorious brimstone shot. Like this one right here, for example, that was perfect. Okay, we've got to be coming close to the boss room. I do not mind using bombs to open tinted rocks and get golden chests. Okay, and another bomb for a, a spirit heart seems like a totally okay trade in my eyes. Uh, even though bombs are precious and we have a ton of spirit hearts right now, I still think this is probably going to work out well for us. Now, all four at once, say cheese. I uh, only got three. Say cheese. There we go. That's a good one. That's how I do quad damage. You just get all the enemies in the same spot. And it sorts itself out. One more hit on both of them will be the end of their lives. Oh, maybe not. There we go. And we get another spirit heart. This has been a very comfortable Isaac run. A very, very comfortable Isaac run, in fact. A slow Isaac run, but a comfortable run. Fly love is, uh, you know, fly love is fly love. It's okay. Uh, but uh, it's very unlikely at this point in the game to make a major difference in our chances for success. It's very unlikely to make a minor difference in our chances for success as well, so uh, with that in mind, I think it's a pretty poor choice. I, this is like the most linear cathedral floor I think I've ever seen. Given our starting point, it's like we didn't have a choice. We just, we, this is how you're, this is the path you're going to take through this level. And that's fine by me. We're not going to go into that curse room until we have a reroll just in case there's uh, an item available. And if there, oh, that was almost the worst damage. We're very poor positioning on my part. Uh, if there is an item available, then we'll probably re-roll it there. But there's also a fairly good chance that we get a guppy item in there. And by good chance, I mean probably like 20%, but still. I wouldn't even want nine lives at this point. Like, that that would just be throwing my life away. Probably, but it, it would be fun regardless. Um, sure, to pick up two cents for no reason. Just throw that money down the drain. Chocolate milk. Well, we're already in here. Let's re-roll it. Yes. Yes, that's good. Uh, the relic was a great pickup there. Uh... It probably, again, is not going to make much of a difference because we're already doing so well, but I'm happy to have it regardless. Uh, too many bomb flies available. Let's uh, cross those both off the list. And again, you know, this is like the third floor in a row where we're going to be doing this, but there's nowhere for me to charge up my uh, D6 anyway, so 
I, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go fight the boss and then leave this floor. Really, you just wanna do the same old song and dance over and over, Loki? Like, you know how this story ends. All right, so we move onwards to fight Isaac. I expect that this will be a little bit of a tedious fight. What I am expecting is that every time I get hit, run up and poison him, and I'm probably gonna get hit a decent amount. Uh, bombs, if necessary, but I'd love to say, save some for Blue Baby as well. Mostly, I'm just thinking, like, it's gonna be a long fight. This is gonna be uh, a little bit laborious. If I can get in the range of the attack fly, that would make things ever so slightly faster. There we go, go in there and poison him. That's partly the reason I picked up Poison Touch. Now, mind you, if we lose all of our spirit hearts and our eternal heart, uh, we probably still have enough to, uh, to win this run pretty handily, but especially with Relic and Miter, like even with a, a relatively short floor on the chest in all likelihood, unless I go in the totally wrong direction, uh, we'll probably generate at least three or four spirit hearts and that'll be enough to hopefully keep me afloat. We'll see though. You know, the worst things have happened. I've, I've lost runs that were better than this. Probably. Although I can't think of them off the top of my head. And every other room, like, we're tearing through it so quickly. It's just, like, high damage or high HP single target foes are just a pain in the ass when you have Brimstone that doesn't do very much damage. Mind you, the, the crowd control is, is easy here. I can't believe that somehow I didn't poison him there. I've really got to pay better attention for uh, when I actually get hit. Because I think I got hit once or twice there and didn't even notice. Can't really do too much to dodge the beams of light, so... Pretty good. One more hit, two more hits, he'll be done. There we go. And he dropped a spirit heart. That was very nice of him. So we come down here, and finally this uh, Wheel of Fortune card pays dividends. Ouija board is useless. Uh, raw liver is great, but we probably don't need it. This is a weird one. Uh, sure, put down the fortune teller and blow it up so we get another reroll pedestal. Um, okay, so obviously, first things first, let's get rid of these space bar items. Raw liver, I'm gonna pick up just because it's so good, but it's probably overkill. We probably don't need it, but uh, it, it's a great item. Forget me now, we could use and get four more items, but I cannot get better payout just by getting four more items by pressing the space bar with my uh, existing uh, possibility here so yes now this is where things become great because we got guppy's paw randomly on the chest I will become guppy I'm not gonna get infestation I'll start rerolling these things again um, now we become guppy once we go into the next room brimstone's gonna be doing a fuck ton of damage we're gonna be creating a shit ton of flies and our damage is gonna be off the fucking chain we got a whore of Babylon we got permanent Polaroid invincibility this it's, it's over it's over for the for them uh, what is this? Health up, so we're gonna get more Guppy's tail going on. Or, sorry, Guppy's, uh, paw going on. Friends till the end, sure, why not? And this is another Telepills. Uh, might as well take it, you never know what we're gonna get a, gonna get out of that. Uh, and you know what the best part is? Uh, we got all the value out of that, uh, Guppy's paw, and we still have uh, rerolls available. We can still reroll the shit out of it. So we Telepills, and the Telepills takes us, uh, adjacent to the secret room. Which we've already been to, because we fought Greed. That's like the, a reprieve. To fight Greed on, uh on the chest is, is easier than fighting another room, which is good, just gonna be like greed plus many other enemies. So we have two rerolls here, that's another uh, valuable rerollable room. I like that a lot. The flies are gonna make that blue baby fight, it, I, I it shouldn't say easier because we're gonna win regardless, but uh, the flies make the blue baby fight so much faster that it's uh, very welcome. Th this has been an extremely lucky run. What else do we have here? Um, sure, we'll, we'll take the mark. I won't take odd mushroom because it'll fuck up our situation here. Uh, but I will take the mark, and then we'll move onwards this way. Extra damage is extra damage, man. It makes our flies stronger, too. I think. I'm not sure if the fly synergy still, like, works with Brimstone, but whatever. And I'm not taking anything else, uh, because I would prefer to just try to get, like, straight damage upgrades at this point. And we're gonna have a lot of opportunities to do so, and we can afford to pass over a lot of items, because, uh, we're already in a superbly great position. Not the most damage you've ever done. If a mom's knife showed up, we might be getting close to that territory, but uh, as of right now, there's still room for improvement. Not too much, though. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy one. So, hey, Nun's Habit. Yeah, we'll pick that up without worrying too much about rerolls. Uh, let us go check out this side. We got another three rerolls here. Sacrificial Dagger is like a borderline pickup. I, I just think we might as well have one more pedestal available. So this is like the worst reroll we could have uh, hoped for because we got two active items and a shitty passive. What I'm gonna do is make my way over here and uh, we're just gonna get as many rerolls as possible. I'm having a good time with this run, so we're gonna spend as much time as is possible on the, this floor to help us out. Maybe we'll get Forget Me Now at the very end. 
And then just, like, hope for a D6 to land again, but I don't think that can happen. Okay, so now we'll make our way this way. Once I find the boss room, I'm gonna be a little bit sad, honestly. Oh my god, if we just walk into him, it kills him, like, instantly, but... Once we get a D6 available, I'm gonna be a little bit sad. Or, sorry, once we get to the boss room, I'm gonna be a little bit sad, because... This has been a fun run. Uh, meat... I mean, all of these are, like, really good items in their own right, but I'm skipping them because... I don't want the HP upgrade for meat, and for blue candle, we'd have to get rid of the D6, but uh, they are good items, don't get me wrong. Like, th Bob's Rotten Head, less so, but uh, the other two items are like, probably 75% of the time I pick up blue candle when it's available. On camera, a little bit less, I guess, but 100% uh, of the time I pick up meat when it's available, because it is one of the best HP upgrades in the game. So, luckily, we have not found our boss room yet, so we can have a little bit more fun here without worrying too much about wasting my time and everybody's time. But, you know, we're all going to die someday anyway, so don't pay too much attention to the amount of time you have available, because, you know, it'll just depress you. Now, you're going to die, and at least we've cleared out one kind of area here. We still have three reroll pedestals available in this one room, and then two in the other room, but, yeah, we're probably not going to take too many of these. Uh, I thought we already had PhD. None of those items are worth it. What am I looking for? I'm looking for, like, Max's head, Mom's knife, basically. Those are the only items I'm going to be pleased with. Pentagram. Uh, the Pact. I, I can fly now, I just realized. Um, so those would those would be my go-to items. Do we know what this pill is? Tears up. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't like a sneaky uh, Trojan horse health upgrade. That would have been bad. And again, it doesn't really matter who we kill first, who we kill last. We'll get bombs here. Sure, no big deal. Hmm, pretty good. 99 cents, 14 bombs, 4 keys. And another reroll approaching pretty soon. I hope you guys have had fun with this run because I've had a great time and I realize that this is like we're approaching like the two hour, well not two hour mark, but we're approaching the hour mark for this run. Normally I like my runs to end before that because it can just get silly at some point, you know, you, can eat, you will do these episodes or you know, watch these episodes where you're eating breakfast or something like that, it's going to take up like your, your whole morning, but uh, that's not necessary, it's necessarily, sorry, something that needs to be worried about right now. Pageant Boy is obviously worthless for me right now, uh, with 99 cents, worthless in general, but Blood Rites and Monstro's Tooth, very bad items, not just right now, but uh, in general. Maybe Blood Rites has some situational uses that I'm just not familiar with, but anyway. We're getting the shitty items out of the pool, and then, uh really, boss room? Well, you know what, it's been a fun time, we'll probably just finish off here, um, I don't think there's any reason not to. And you know what? I feel good about just tanking. I don't even want to use Brimstone. Why don't we just stand in the middle of the fight here and let uh, let the dirty work kind of happen regardless. The problem is we're not generating flies because we, we spend so much time under permanent Polaroid invincibility. There we go. Generate some flies by shooting him. We'll put some bombs down. We've got Mr. Mega in case you forgot and homing bombs. Uh, so this is like the easiest blue baby fight I've ever had in my entire life, I think. I didn't even realize we were under invincibility right there. That's gonna kill him. That was a good time. I had a good time with that run. I hope you guys had a good time as well. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.